Hi guys, this is Always back with another tutorial of AutoCAD series. In this video, I will make a gradient hatch and I'll show you how you can re-edit your hatch. Let's draw a rectangle here and I will click on this arrow button and I've got this gradient command. I click on this and it's going to ask me to select an object. I can even pick a point. Let's say I'll click on here. Now it's going to ask me to pick a point. So I'll pick this point and I press enter now I've got this gradient in the rectangle and now as you can see I've got a few options here it's same as a hatch but it's just a gradient if you click this out of button you can even change this gradient to any of these hatches available here but I'll keep that for now and I've got this color options here I can mix two three whatever I want to color this hatch I can change that all right and then I've got this transparency it's about the same options you get with a normal hatch so I'm going to go and close this hatch editor. That's how you can basically make a hatch gradient hatch. So I close this editor and I get rid of this. So let's say I want to edit this hatch, but I want this gradient hatch to edit the way it's rectangle edit. So I'll go and click this and then I will go and recreate. I've got this command recreate and then I'm going to it's going to ask me if I want to make a region or a polygon. Region is mostly used in 3D modeling, but I will click on Polygon for now. And now I've got this option here. It's asking me reassociate hatch with a new boundary. And if you want to reassociate this ha this hatch with a boundary, you type Y, press spacebar, and now your hatch is being associated with a new boundary. So let's say I will select this boundary, and I will move this vertex about here. As you can see that even when I move my boundary, my hatch will move. So that's how you can re-edit your hatch. So I've got this boundary outside the hatch command. You gotta, and then if I hold and cursor on this vertex, I can convert this to arc. See, so this is pretty good. Um, all right, guys, that's it for hatch command now. I will talk about writing text in your drawing in the next chapter. Uh, thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video.